Hello YouTube, this is your host Durgesh and today we are going to start with a new project on live cricket scoreboard using Raspberry Pi 3. Let's get started with. What things are required for this project? Raspberry Pi 3. It is a credit card sized computer which can be used even with the help of small solar panel. Raspberry Pi 3 is so compact and affordable to be used in small and large projects. Thanks to the Raspberry Pi Foundation for such a great device at a low price. Then we need a 16 into 2 LCD display to display the selected match score. The model which I have used is RG162A version 2.0. Then we need a breadboard for connecting our Pi 3 with display. I have used a full size breadboard. Then we need a set of 12 jumper wires for making connections between Pi 3 and display. And finally, we need a 2.2K register to limit the brightness of our display. If you want, you can use a potentiometer for same. The value of the register I have chosen is based on my model and you may need to take another value based on your model. Check datasheet of your display to calculate the required register value. Tasks we are going to complete. For this project, I am going to use API provided by a free service Crick API. This is an Indian company who is offering free API for getting the live cricket match scores. I am thankful to them for making cricket API available to us. They also have some other APIs. Please check their website for same. Link is given in the description below. Then we make connections between Pi 3 and the LCD display. Then install the Apache web server and PHP. Next we clone git repository Pi cricket of our project which is hosted at GitHub. Install adapter library which is essential for displaying output on our LCD display. And finally, demonstrate the whole setup. Now let's see how it works. First we fetch the data from Crick API cloud to our Pi 3 device. Then we select the match from a given list of matches on a web interface using either mobile or computer or laptop. And finally, display the score of both the countries on LCD display. How we are going to implement it? First, we will create a page index.php using Bootstrap, which is a state of the art CSS design framework, jQuery, which is a de facto standard in dynamic websites, and PHP will be used to handle server side code. Then we will write a script using Python and Adaptive Library. Implementation plan. First, we will create a page index.php which will give us choice to select our desired match to get that score on our LCD display. And we would be able to access this page from all the devices that supports browsing. Then we will create a page processdata.php to get the selected match from index.php and write the score of that match to the text files country1.txt and country2.txt. Then we will create a page service.php to continuously fetch the score every 10 seconds and write that score to the text files country1.txt and country2.txt. These are the two text files associated with our two countries and finally we will create a python script to read the data from country1.txt and country2.txt continuously and display those scores on LCD display. Let's see the flowchart of this whole process. Initially, we start by opening index.php page where we will select the desired match. That selected match data will be passed to processdata.php which in turn write it in two files country1.txt and country2.txt. Our python script durgesh.py will fetch the data from these two files and display the scores on LCD. There is another file service.php which will be like our daemon to refresh the scores periodically. Durgesh.py and service.php will be running continuously in background. Let's start with the process of getting key of Crick API. We need to have a key in order to access the Crick API from the cloud. So open the browser and type in Crick API. Select the first link Click sign up 
choose your desired authentication. I am selecting Facebook. And here is the key. I have masked it for privacy. You can download your own and it is free. That's it in the part 1. We will see actual implementation in part 2. Link to the part 2 is given here on the top of the screen. I hope you would have enjoyed this video. Then please like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. It motivates me to post more such kind of videos. See you in the part 2 of the Pi Cricket project. Until then take care, goodbye and thank you.